Hello. Okay, I feel like the lighting is kind of not awesome, but we're gonna roll with it. So, <laughs> I feel like most of the people on this channel know me from being alkaline vegan, and I was doing that to heal the tumors from my body using the Dr. Savi method, fasting, get it da da. And so, when I got to Mexico, even though I had like shrunk the tumors most of the way, there's still some left, and so I was doing cambo about like once a week <laughs> and to cleanse my body from that. Some videos on it as well on my channel if you want to check them out. Linked, I'll link them down below, or you can just go look on my channel and subscribe while you're doing that because I'm gonna have more videos coming up even though I was away for like three months because I've been working with ayahuasca and I really wanted to integrate the medicine and um, yeah, sometimes it's kind of one of those things where it's like words are super inadequate to describe it. So I didn't, and I wanted to just spend time in my process and learning. And so now I finally feel at a place to share. But yeah, first things first, <laughs> this video. Um, so the reason why I no longer alkaline electric vegan, I still use that knowledge, and I still try to eat like um, a lot of alkaline things. However, that being said, in one of my ayahuasca ceremonies, when I was in the Pleiades to Pazlan, afterwards, after the ceremony, it was a beautiful ceremony, one of those beautiful ceremonies I participated in, um, I was sitting in the mountains overlooking this beautiful view and I had some time to reflect by myself. And I <laughs> was sitting there thinking and the thoughts that I was having was if I was just in the wild without all of this consumerism and the society that we've created and I saw a chicken or a hog or some sort of animal like that running around I would try and kill it and eat it and that just to me made the most sense and I used to also not want to eat because I energetically felt really bad after consuming like a burger a really long time ago and that does make sense because I feel like the animals the way that we've treated them in this society is not right and I don't support that. Um, I just no longer hold the belief that there is a karmic connection between the two. So I have been eating some like white fish and basically everything as long as it's um, like super, uh, I try to get it like super sustainable like where the animals are treated well and not with hormones and things like that and not like try not to get GMO animals but uh, yeah I still use like the Dr. Savy method and stuff oh and also to do with that so like while I was alkaline I still had the tumors in my body and like a little bit like the fasting and stuff did help a lot but there was still a little bit left over and I've been learning here about how much disease is emotional and it can be held in the spiritual body and the other side of it because there's a physical side obviously of illness but there's also the other side where you know if our emotions don't if they go unchecked they can be stored inside the body uh, under the organs and that anger especially it's that and sometimes we don't even notice that it's there so yeah, I've been learning how that affects us, and in my first ceremony with Ayahuasca, she addressed the whole tumor situation. Obviously, that was part of the reason why I was there, and because um, someone had sent me videos about people being healed from cancer through Ayahuasca, so I was like, I'm gonna go try it. Um, so yeah, in the first ceremony that I sat with her with Mother Ayahuasca, she told me, hey, I mean, she gave me a whole backstory of something really traumatic that happened to me when I was younger and she was like, no one was there for you then, but I'm here for you now and I'm gonna heal you of this, take these tumors from your body and um, and you are gonna serve for me <laughs> in return, you're gonna help other people heal. So I was like, okay, <laughs> like yeah, of course, pretty good deal. And. Um, yeah, and so after that ceremony, I was still doing, yeah, I was doing the cambos once a week, which is like good to, for your immune system and for healing and purging, um, both physically, mentally, spiritually, all the things, but um, after that ceremony, it went away, and I, I was 
a few ceremonies later, like when it, because it came back, right? And I was still eating vegan. And I was like, why is that, right? Like, and I was, I was still feeling like negative emotions when I saw people like eating certain things. And I felt like this jealousy come up. And then I felt like, like just like not understanding and low vibrational emotions. And so it took me probably like five, five, maybe six ceremonies for it to like, no, maybe five. I don't know, till I was like, cause you're gonna be healed when you believe you're gonna be healed. So for me to believe that it, maybe it was three actually, I don't, I don't quite remember, but um, <laughs> for me to really truly believe that I could be healed of this, cause she's gonna, Shani told me this as well, like um, the medicine will do the healing, but um, if you don't believe, like, she'll do it but like are you gonna believe her are you gonna believe her that she healed you and for me i'd be like checking da, 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 ah. and so then after a couple of ceremonies i was like okay, i'm just not gonna check anymore and then and then it ended up like they would go away right and then they come back with the, with the negative thinking with that process so it took me a little while to really kind of get there it's been completely cleared for a while now so that's why i feel comfortable and confident talking about this because at first like after my first cambo ceremony they completely disappeared and then came back and um, I didn't want to, like it's been months now, so I didn't want to talk about it before, um, like when it was still like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's going to happen. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what, why, um, I'm not alkaline anymore, and what I eat now, which people have been asking a lot, is, yeah, basically mostly alkaline foods, like, I really love smoothie bowls, I've been eating protein again too, which is making me feel really nice, and, um, I like to eat like fish. If I'm doing a dieta, obviously it's different. Uh, let me know if you want me to do like a video on like how we prepare for a ceremony and, and a really, um, if you're thinking about doing ayahuasca, how to prepare your vessel for it because it took me a little bit to learn and working with different people. And yeah, I think that's it. Mostly alkaline. I eat some proteins now. I try to like always make sure that if I'm getting them, that I'm getting them obviously without hormones um, and where they're like free, like animals here. The animals here are also like different somewhat than Canada and such. Um, excuse me. Um, <laughs> like you, if you see like chickens running around, they're not always like super huge. Like you see them in Canada, like they look more like normal birds. Um, so yeah, I still really love eating plant-based.